this is Monica. I'm from Earl of Manchester's Regiment of Foot. I work on Canon, I'm Matros, and I will talk you through the tools that we use when preparing Canon for fire. And um, this is the first of them. This is called a search or a worm, and uh, you use it after the previous fire or preparing the piece to be fired. You check the barrel for any uh, materials that might be left in the barrel, making sure that when the powder goes in, the barrel is ready. Um, so the search, which in a shape of a corkscrew, you twist it inside to search for any um, materials inside. It's made of the non-ferrous uh, material to make sure there's no spark created inside um, when you're searching. So I will put it in. Making sure that when twisting, I don't put my hand at the end of the tool. And so that in case if it um, was to come, go off again, the gun was to explode, my hand would be harmed if it was at the end. So I hold it on the side, I twist and I bring it out check in the end for any dead bricks. This one's clear. So the next tool I'm going to take is the wet mop, which is definitely wet in this damp weather. Uh, but we do have a bucket of water to wet just in case if we need more moisture. I put it inside. And, what we here? and my colleague here is looking at the a bridge to look the if touch hole the touch hole so that you can see water, water coming up there see it so that proves that you've put all the cold hot coals from the previous shot out so that when you put in the new powder it doesn't explode it's always worth checking the end of a tool when you bring it out for any signs of debris, a debris. And then, then I use the dry mop, which is looks exactly the same, which can be confusing. Uh, it's very important to make sure you use the right one. If you notice, tell them the difference. <laughs> okay, so the wet mop in this case is short and the dry is long. So you know which one so it is. So you know which one is which. Sometimes. <laughs> Except when they stand like this. Um, <laughs> So the dry mop uh, is used to make sure that the barrel is ready for the powder. The powder doesn't like damp. We dry in it all to make sure we remove the dampness from the wet mop. So again, I just mop it in. Bring it out quickly. Bring it out to Did make sure. Did you hear sure. that noise? Yes, there was a popping noise, which helps to, again, bring Clear any debris. Yeah clears the gun and also any moisture that still might be there would come out as well so now the gun is ready for the powder yes and the wadding and the wadding so where is it i can't see it oh there it is we have wadding bag so we use um grass we check for any things that we don't want to have in a barrel, and the roots, and the what, flowers, and the what leaves. What is the correct size of the wadding? So we're looking at sort of golf ball. The I'm correct just... size is the size of the barrel in each direction. Yeah. So it would it would differ depending on the gun used. Um, so this is my ready wadding. This is my powder box. With two lids with two lids so that there's safety um, barrier against any... Spark barrier. Yeah, spark. So I put powder in. And then we have to seat the powder. Then we have to help it down with the ram. I pass it down. Seat it, seat, that's it. Give it a little tap. Then I take the wadding, put it in. And what else were you doing just then? So when I twisted it in, so it was nice and tight. It was keeping the end of the ramrod off the floor, yeah. so we don't pick up any bits and fire it anywhere. 
Yeah, and always check it before you put it in. So now I'm ready to deposit that at the bottom yeah. and compress it. So this is gun loaded. This is gun loaded. I put this away. And Do you want to? No, no, carry on. So this is next stage of preparing gun for fire. We need to prick. Again, my hand does not go over. So obviously what it helps with is making sure that the powder that is stored in a plastic bag there is um, opened and it creates the tunnel for the powder. Then you put loose powder on the touch hole, creating a little path when the linstock comes. It will touch it and will set the... I put the my hand over it so that no sparks or the rain can get on it. And now you can give the order. Do you and want to fire it? Or do you want to talk about that piece? So this is linstock. Um, this is a tool which helps us to keep the match safe. And obviously being on a long stick, it also helps to keep safe the person who is holding it. Um, the match burns from one end um, some, it depends on the event, you would maybe prepare it two matches if you need to, to make sure that you're always ready to fire. It's the responsibility of the person holding the linstock to keep an eye on it, keep it safe, keep it dry, keep it going. So, <laughs> so now the gun is ready, the linstock is ready. Give it to Okay, prepare to give fire. Firing gun, and uh, yeah, that was a good one. What bad it was it? It was a good one. <laughs>